So anyone working on farm fencing may know the complications of tying off tons of little wires to connect fences together and things of that nature. And when I moved to this property, there was a lack of mesh fencing on this front half. There was a lack of a divider. So I've been putting in, I think I put around a thousand feet of fencing in. And a lot of the things that I saw on the gates on the interior side of the property were using chicken wire like this, putting it up against a slatted or tubed style gate like that, and then zip tying it to it, which actually works really well. And you don't end up having to buy those uh, fences that have that, which often the cells are too large and baby chicks and things can get through them. So I prefer this at least at minimum size, a two by four uh, cell chicken fencing. And again, I've put that all the way around and I was going to do it to this gate with this wire, but I needed some more zip ties. And I don't like the zip ties because they typically die in the sunlight. This probably would last longer because it's fairly shaded, but I wanted to make it last. And I looked up to see what kind of fence tying fixtures they had. And to my surprise, there's this really cool product that is um, basically a zip tie. It doesn't quite work exactly the same. It doesn't have the notches on the metal band. So it actually uses like a pin inside that head, but it works. If you were looking at it, you would think it is the exact same product, but it's stainless steel. Um, these are, I believe, 11 inches long. They hold about 200 pounds individually, and they're 304 stainless steel. So when I was looking to replace this, I wanted to do it in wire so that it would last. That's when I came to this product. And right now, I'm in the process of, yesterday, we replaced all of the inbound fences because the goats actually snap those plastic zip ties off pretty easily, especially once they've become brittle in the sun. I have to bear with the wind because once I'm up here, as I rise in elevation, there's a little bit of wind. Look at this too, while we're out here. All of my peach trees are starting to bloom. Orchard's doing great, obviously, because it's springtime. And I took all of my chicken house uh, waste and used it as top fertilizer for my plants, my trees specifically for the orchard. Uh, up here it's a little windy, but I had put this mesh on to keep the dogs in here. They can still get through the other one, however, they don't seem to care to yet. They've done it twice, but it wasn't, uh, it isn't something they persistently do. But you can see these zip ties, what that looks like. Kind of ugly, they stand out. But then when you get to here, they kind of disappear, and that's because you get these nice silver ones, and that's what this product looks like when it's applied. Um, I did go and at Tractor Supply buy this an angled snipper or a square headed snipper or whatever you want to call it. This one's actually interesting. It's a multi-tool. It's got a hammer, a hammer claw, and then that in it. So if you really just need to do some fencing, this is actually a great tool. Um, I always use my miniature bolt cutters. Those are super handy when you're cutting fence. You don't have to put a lot of pressure into it and it snaps it nice and clean. Um, and then you don't bend any of the fencing because that's another thing you want to make sure you're keeping straight. But as you can see, that's it snipped off nice and flush. This is one with the tail end still onto it. And you can see just barely that scoring line is happening down the center of it. And that's happening because, let's see if I can get in there. There's a little tooth inside there that pins itself onto it. And that's how it works. So similar to the zip tie where you get the clicking motion and it has a tooth that goes into a little slot, which is like these. But there's obviously a bit of an advantage for the metal because it'll last longer. These have a nice clicking feature, which is nice uh, for pulling tension. And that's the one big advantage of a zip tie is tensioning them is actually easier on a zip tie. So with these, you want something to press against the backside while you pull the tongue because otherwise it'll just spin because they're nice and smooth. But otherwise, they're a super cool product. I would highly recommend. I'm going to put a link in the description for where you can get those zip ties. They're Amazon. Uh, when I got them... The first ones I ordered, I think it was $12 for a pack of 100 and then there was an Amazon um, Preferred or whatever they call it um, that is the other one, which is the exact same product. They're identical in every single way. Um, and there were $10 for a pack of 100 which is actually, I think, even cheaper than I can get regular zip ties at the same length at uh, Home, De or Home Depot or Lowe's. So super cool product, super useful. I'll do an update after I've tested it for a few years, obviously, because this is uh, something new, but I suspect being at 304 or 304 stainless, I believe it is, um, it'll 
it'll last. It's going to last longer than the zip ties for sure, and it'll look a lot nicer. So let me know what you think. Super cool thing that I found while doing the fencing, and I found those... Um, Ah, those screws that have the fork on it. So the fencing attachment things, which are super, super handy. I'll put a link for those if you didn't see that video. They are super neat. It's an impact driven. These ones are stapled, but I believe if I go a little bit further up. Uh, yeah, these guys right here. This is done by Fasten Tight. It's an impact driven uh, little staple with a screw in it and they're self tapping. So you can put fencing up super fast. Super handy if you're taking on a farm project or revitalizing your existing farm project. But some little handy tools make a huge difference and super nice fasteners will last a lot longer and make your job a lot easier. Those are also super easy to remove, which is really awesome. These, once you use them, that's it. They're just a one-time use. Let me know what you think.